you found evidence of wrongdoing in Michigan and you shared mm-hmm. it with the January 6th committee. Then mm-hmm. uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, the committee issued subpoenas for mm-hmm. to several of the key players in Michigan. To the extent mm-hmm. that you can, will you tell us what you found and what you hope the committee will explore with these witnesses? Well, the Department of State that I oversee is the chief election officer for the state of Michigan. We're not an investigative body, but we do have the receipts of a lot of attempts that were made to interfere with the will of the people in Michigan in 2020, essentially to supplant their will with the will of a candidate, uh, the former president. And so as we saved evidence, uh, as we were living it in December of 2020, where our goal at that point was simply just to protect and guard democracy to make sure that the actual certificates of electors, the, uh, the, the valid ones, made it to the National Archives before any fraudulent ones did. Uh, you know, all of that was, in the moment, a, a really harrowing experience to see just how far people were willing to go to try to supplant the will of the people in our state and in many others. Now that there is a federal body, the January 6th committee, that is seeking to, that has investigatory powers, that is seeking to connect the dots between all of the actions that took place leading up to and undergirding the tragedy at our U.S. Capitol on January 6th, we are cooperating, just as I feel every American citizen, voter, leader should do with this committee. We are providing evidence that we have of evidence of, of, of not just efforts to uh, supplant the will of the voters in our state, but you know, strange other occurrences that suggest perhaps there was coordination beyond our state. Uh, and, uh, you know, invite or encourage with evidence with the January 6th committee to look into it with an eye towards seeking accountability for those who did enter this unprecedented effort to overturn our election.